Okay, guys, Nick Z here. Finally got this uh, setup working pretty nice. This is a 60 watt incandescent bulb, and uh, it's running on this new little coil that I made tonight. Actually, it was last night, but I finished it tonight. I had uh, I had an old TIP3055 transistor. And uh, so I just connected it up just to see what it would do. Um, tomorrow I'll be mounting the new uh, 2N uh, 3055. But for now I just wanted to check it out and uh, see what it would do. So uh, this is the 60 watt bulb incandescent. It also lights an 18 um, CFL ungutted. So it, uh, it's been working out pretty nicely. I don't know. I haven't tried the bigger bulbs yet. But uh, the advantage that I'm finding here is that the transistor is running. It's not running cold. <laughs> but it's not running hot either. It's not running real hot. You can touch it. So in a sense, that's, uh, that's a good advantage. So. Uh, uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, change this bulb to the CFL to show you what it does. Uh, give me one second though because I can't do this. Uh, so I'm going to put the camera down for a second. Just hang on. Okay, I'm back. That's the CFL. You can see it puts out a good amount of light. I hope it's not blinding y'all, but uh, it seems to work pretty good. I've got no complaints, and this one really does run a lot colder, cooler than the uh, the CFL or the um, the incandescent. So it's it's more apt for this setup here. And I've got some LED bulbs too, but. Uh, I'm not going to try those tonight. Maybe in the next video I'll, I'll show it running on the, on the LED bulbs. It can also run on these smaller uh, bulbs uh, like this one real well. Uh, it lights it up really good. And this little tiny one, it, it really lights this one really bright. It's a 7 watt bulb, 110. And uh, it really likes that one. So anyway, just to give you some idea what I've been doing, and this little coil here has really uh, been doing good for me. It's uh, it works a little better than the than the yoke, this yoke that I've been using here. But uh, they all work. This one works a little bit brighter, a little bit better, and it was made from these beads. The uh, ferrite beads that I got from old monitors or TVs. I only had, uh, I think there's about four in there. Four or five, I can't remember. But uh, it works pretty well. So uh, if you have some, you might want to try those out. It seemed to work uh, even better than the, than the yoke worked for me. It's a little brighter. It could have to do with the windings. This one's got uh, 70, well, it's got 65 primary windings of maybe around 20 gauge, and it's got uh, around 4 to 500 of the uh, 28 gauge secondary. So, uh, anyway, give it a try if you've got some of those and can't get a hold of the uh, ferrite rods, which are pretty expensive. They're like I don't know, $30 or something like that. So I got these for free. Everything that I have here is for free. <laughs> it's the only way I can do it. Anyway, thanks for watching.